Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And today we're talking about moving a WordPress site from, uh, let's say you've got one of the free ones set up over at WordPress.com, and you've decided that you want to move the same site over to a self-hosted one that you can use in the files and things on that at WordPress.org. Uh, it's not really hosted on WordPress.org. You go out and buy your own domain name and you get your own host. But when you do this, you have full control of your site. You can do much more than you can with it as uh, WordPress.com. As I said, WordPress.com is not a bad place to go to learn, to see what's going on, uh, to help get things set up till you're ready to um, take a site live and to uh, turn it into a business building site. As you can see on my site, on the post here that I'm making, there's things that you should think about and read and consider before you move to WordPress.org. Um, I love having the self-hosted uh, WordPress it's not, uh, sites. Um, I, so the WordPress.com is still a good tool. It has its own uses, but if you're wanting to make money with the site, I do suggest that you self-host it. And you can hear some information about what it really means by self-hosting. It's not, you know... You can find that information here. Now let's go ahead and uh, go on moving it. The first thing that you do is you would go and set up your um, site, a WordPress site, on your host. And a lot of your hosts have that, like this one video that's going to show up here in a minute. It'll show up. I didn't put the uh, address of the movie there. And then you go back in, it'll show you. You can just go in and just in a couple of minutes, using uh, a host such as HostGator, that has the uh, click install for WordPress. In just a couple of minutes, you'll have your WordPress site up and running. So go ahead and do that. And once you get it up and running, then we're going to go ahead and take your content from the WordPress.com site and move it to your new site. Here I am on a test site. I thought I had access to some old uh, WordPress.com sites I had. Uh, I, see, I don't remember the password. And the email I was using for them is for an email address that I no longer have and haven't had in many years. It has been probably six, seven years since I did anything on WordPress.com. That said, they've improved WordPress.com just as WordPress itself has improved, and it has gotten better. But I put some content up here really quick, and we're going to go ahead and see how this moves. Just like when you're moving from another place, you need to pack things. And so you go to your dashboard. You're going to go to Tools, and you're going to go to Export. And we're going to go ahead and export all your post pages, everything, all the content. Here I am over on the new site that I'm going to move it to, and we'll see how it all moves out. Uh, as you can see, it has this Hello World post here because I've not taken it off. Um, we'll probably go back and delete it. But let's go ahead and show you how to import this. You go ahead and go into Tools, and you want to click on Import. And you're going to import from WordPress. So click on that, and it gives you a plugin to install. And then you're going to go ahead and activate it. And then you're going to go ahead and find and choose your file to upload, the one that we just downloaded. Okay, go ahead and click on the file that you just downloaded. Upload file and import. And you can choose to have these things go to uh, someone who is already on there if you want, or give them a new name. I think Nash Mom's okay. And go ahead and just download and import the file attachment. Okay, it is now uploaded. Let's go ahead and look and see how it looks. Okay, you can see it is now up. It put it in there. Uh, the widgets didn't move over. The images did actually move, but these are still linking, I believe, to the old ones. Very cool. It's got the new ones. They're good to go.